Hello everyone, this is Alex with Cyberforce Q. Do you want to learn to build a cybersecurity program for your organization that actually works? If so, we've prepared this video series to help guide you through the most important parts of the journey. In this video, we're going to be going over the top three types of cybersecurity program metrics. Earlier in this series, we discussed the value of implementing operational metrics into your cybersecurity program. We even mentioned the three main categories of metrics. Let's review the best ways that we can utilize each. The very first type of cybersecurity program metric is metrics of validation. These metrics are exactly like they sound. The idea is to verify using objective measurement that security controls are implemented and active. In most cases, you'll be validating the results of more subjective forms of measurements, such as a gap assessment. I'll use the category of security awareness training to provide an example of a validation metric. In this instance, a metric of validation might be the percent of the workforce that has successfully completed security awareness training within the last 90 days. As you can see, it provides objective insight that helps us ensure that the security requirement for training is correctly implemented. Metrics of validation are often a great place to start when seeking to implement metrics into your cybersecurity program. The second type of cybersecurity program metric is a metric of effectiveness. Here, we're looking beyond direct control fulfillment. The idea is to make sure that security controls are actually functioning and effectively improving your organization's security standing. I'll use the same category of security awareness training to provide another example. Let's say that we already know that 95% of the workforce has successfully completed training within the last 90 days. The next step is to assess the effectiveness of that training. To do this, you might choose to run a phishing campaign and report on something like the percentage of the phished workforce to click on the simulated malicious link. Now, we're starting to get a better understanding of the control and if the security training is being well received. The third and final type of cybersecurity program metric is metrics of efficiency. This is the most advanced form of metric, and it's often the most interesting to consider. Here, we're looking at either a metric of validation or effectiveness and contrasting it with the level of resource expended on the control. I'll use the same category of security awareness training to continue our example. Let's say that after several rounds of security awareness training and phishing campaigns, only 5% of the workforce clicks a simulated malicious link in the most recent campaign. Now, we can compare this to the cost of things like the e-learning platform, security awareness course content, administrative hours, and so on. Once we start to understand efficiency, we can better identify how to allot cybersecurity resources for the most effective program possible. We also get a great sense for which technologies are more effective than others at fulfilling security controls. These were the top three types of cybersecurity program metrics. In the next video, we'll look at the top three elements of effective cybersecurity action plans. From all of us at Cyberforce Q, Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our upcoming cybersecurity videos or courses. We'll see you in the next video.